All right, Coin Digger here, back with uh, Coin Roll Hunt. So I got a box full of pennies, $25, and I'm all set up. These are the only holes I need to fill. So I'm doing fairly well for just starting the collection a few months ago. Uh, most of them are in the 1909 to 1940 book. And I also have this book here from Will Hornbuckle that I'm going to start filling in with all of my extra ones as well. So I have a bunch of duplicates I'm going to put in here. Um, start a second book. I probably will only do the 1909 to 1940. Um, the ones above that are just pretty common. But... So that's what I'm going to do, and I will hit you up with an update, um, or if I find something spectacular. See you in a few. So, uh, I just found a very unexpected find in this roll. It was a dime, and it was like this, and I was like, man, that looks awful shiny. And I flipped it over, and guess what year it is? 1961. Silver in a roll of regular old pennies. I can't believe it. It's freaking awesome. It's an awesome find. Uh, I'll see you guys on the next update. All right, here's the wrap up. Um, didn't get as much copper as last time, but here's the 60s, 70s. And 80 through 81. I think there might be a couple 82s that I knew were copper, so I threw them in there anyway. And then here's the S mint marks. Let me see if I can get them a little bit closer here. Let's see if that helps. So I got a 71S. That was the first one I pulled out. And that's a 69S. I got a whole lot of 2009s. Let's zoom out. So I got a lot of the Capitol building ones and then four of Lincoln standing in front of a building and then one in Lincoln log cabin and then three of him sitting on the log I got four 59 D's one 59 plane and for the wheats 45 plane 46 plane 51 plane or 51 D excuse me 52 plane 54D, 57D, and 58D. And the best find of the whole box was this right here. Uh, occasionally you find dimes in the box, but this time I found a silver dime. So that was an awesome find, and it's in great condition. It's a 61 plane, so that's awesome. That's going in with my regular with my um, silver so not too many wheats there was uh, only seven wheats but that silver dime definitely made up for that and a whole lot of rejects so I uh, will see you on the next one thanks for watching Hey everyone, Coin Digger here. Um, it's a little segment in my video, uh, opening up some eBay finds and Listia finds, trying to fulfill or fill my empty holes in my books. So, without further ado, let's see. This is one in there. Now, this is the one. It's kind of scary because I I saw that there was a big old hole in it with no coin in it, but. I felt it and it is in the in the 2x2 two two. it's just slipped out of the middle into the corner but we'll open these here uh, let me pause and get my 
camera stand. Alright, here we go. Let's cut these open. Now, I don't know which one's which yet. Um, I know I ordered something really good in here from eBay, not Listia. I didn't win the really good thing from Listia, but if it's in this here, we'll find out. Some of these people like tape this stuff up like ridiculous, like they think it's gonna go away. But as you can see, nothing's in there, but it's right here. And they use tape on like every side. Man. Well, I'm gonna have to destroy this flip. Gosh. So I needed this one. Come on, focus, baby. So it's hard to see in the camera. 54S. There we go. Needed that one. And this one. And the bag's ripping, but sorry for the focus. All right, let me just rip it out of this damn bag. But it's a 1911, as you can see, written on the bag. Uh, 1911P. So I still need, man, still need the other ones. The the D and the S. Holy cow, man! These people wrap stuff so ridiculous. All right, and it's it's fairly worn. Come on. All right, my phone really doesn't want to focus. Finally. So as you can see, it's pretty worn, but it's a 1911. Uh, so that's going to fill a spot. I think I got that for like a dollar or, or $2 at the most. So it's not that much of a loss. What the heck is this? All right. See what I mean? The it's like all this cardboard for just one little coin in here. I think that's at least one coin. It might be more than yeah. It's just one. But now it's like really hard to get at, so let's see. Oh my gosh. Seriously. All that for just one little coin. I wonder what the postage was on all that anyway. Alright, let's see. Come on. There we go, 1939D. Fairly decent shape. It's got some wear marks on his cheekbone, some dark spots. The back's in good shape. But, just thought I'd give you guys a peek of what I got today in the mail. And I have a whole lot more coming in the next few days. I think that was it. Um, but I'm about to start coin roll hunting, so I'll. Um, start the videos for that in a second but this will be added on to that as well so I'll see you in a second